Hello everyone and welcome to another iSecurity webinar from Rasley Security. My name is Ellie Spitz, I'm Vice President of Business Development at Rasley Security and today I'll show you how easy it is to run a security assessment on any of your system's LPARs using Rasley's free assessment product. The assessment will help you answer a very simple question. Do you know how safe your LPARs really are? Assessment as you can see here, works on a PC, which can, access, which can access an IBMI LPAR on your network and reads IBMI information onto the PC. It formats this information and presents an informative report as an HTML file or PDF, as we'll see later, which is appropriate for both managers as well as for system administrators. So all that assessment needs in order to execute, as you can see here, is the IP address of the system, the LPAR, a strong user ID and password, an authorization key, and assessment that runs on the PC, connects, verifies the code, retrieves system information, gets all sorts of uh, parameters and information that it requires from the IBM IL PAR, and presents a report which we'll have a look at in a moment. Let's now have a short look at the features, the objectives, and the deliverables of assessment. But first, a very short overview of Rasley Security and our iSecurity suite of solutions for security, auditing, and compliance. Rasley Security is internationally renowned. We've been around almost 33 years now developing solutions, software solutions for the IBMI. We have corporate offices in, in a number of countries and our products are installed in more than 40 countries worldwide. We're proud to be business partners with IBM certified for Tivoli and for QRadar. And we have partnerships with major global SIEM and DAM database activity monitoring security providers such as McAfee and Imperva, HP, RSA, ArcSight, CA, Splunk, Juniper, etc., etc. And of course, we have a worldwide distribution network. Assessment. There's going to be a reason for uh, a company to be interested in security, compliance, and auditing. Perhaps their auditors request regulations, a security breach, which perhaps already occurred, a management decision. And we also provide a free assessment product, which goes in to the system, as I said, and checks to see the status of our system in various uh, different areas, which I'll show you in a moment. This is an overview of the iSecurity suite of products. Regarding assessment, again, it provides an in-depth analysis of the security strengths and weaknesses of the system. It actually pinpoints specific issues and areas which require attention, focusing on network access, system auditing, system values, user management, terminal access, password policy, etc. Reports as HTML or PDF, summary and detailed reports, every aspect of security, server security is assessed. Uh, there are detailed explanations which are provided for each item in the report and essentially it provides instantaneous benefit to companies because it suggests best practices and recommended values for system values, exit points, etc. So some of the objectives are to set a baseline for corporate security policies, to identify the issues before they occur, to check that we're compliant with regulations and corporate security policy as set perhaps by auditors, and it can help in prioritizing security efforts. The deliverables include a very user-friendly HTML report with hyperlinks, can be converted to PDF obviously, as I mentioned, the immediate benefit via the recommendations which it provides, and it, it answers simple questions, or sample questions rather, such as are unattended terminals being protected, which exit points are being protected, and by which application, which are not protected, which system value settings are not in accordance with site policies, how many of your users have non-secure passwords, and how many user profiles are not being used and therefore should be disabled. So if we have a short look at the HTML report, which was run uh, for a 7.1 system, 
As you can see here, there is an executive summary with an overview, information, scores that are provided in different areas, as well as recommendations, explanations and recommendations for each and every one of these areas. We can actually click from here, activation of network protection, for example, look at all the different exit points. There is no program name which uh, monitors the exit points except for a few, which are protected by iSecurity in our case. We also list the antivirus open exit programs. And if we continue uh, down this report, we're looking here at the uh, auditing system and user activities, system values, description, the current setting, and whether or not that's in accordance with site policies, as you can see here. In the next se section, for example, user classes, we find that security officers, well, there are many, too many that are disabled. 33 security offices is probably uh, not an opt optimal number either. All object security, 37 who are enabled, 20 who are disabled, etc. So this is obviously um, not optimal. Users with default passwords, a bit too many. And if we go back and have a look, for example, at just taking an example of password control, you see here that we, again, list all the system values, explain the system value, give the current setting, the iSecurity recommended value, what is the risk, and this goes on and on for all the different system values. So what you're seeing here is an assessment report for various aspects of your system, providing, as I mentioned, uh, value to uh, system administrators immediately, thanks to these reports. This report can also be sent as a PDF file attachment to an email, for example. And um, in summation, I hope you've seen that we have identified the objectives, uh, we answer to the objectives, the deliverables have been shown to you, and we hope that you'll visit our website at www.rasley.com for an overview of the iSecurity solutions, and in particular for assessment. Thank you. Have a great day.